since it's a new year, it unfortunately means we're going to face the yeah, prospect of Brexit again. So I thought I'd cover a few things that might happen. This is all suspect to change. No one actually knows what it's going to be. So let's go over a few points of what might happen with Brexit if it happens this year and how it's going to affect travelling musicians and musicians as a whole from the UK to Europe and Europe to the UK. So let's talk about the paperwork. It seems that if Brexit goes ahead, there's going to be a ton of paperwork going on and we don't know exactly what this paperwork is. But from my research and through articles that I've read, which will be linked below, it seems that if this paperwork is done by a third party, so you hire a third party to do this paperwork, it's going to cost approximately £500. And if you do it yourself independently, about £300. Now, what it's got saying here is a new car... Ooh. Basically, the paperwork has to be redone if you buy anything why on tour so equipment change on tour you buy a new guitar you buy a new set of drums more drumsticks you're gonna have to do this paperwork all over again yay so this means that your best option for keeping your costs low is to buy a thing you're gonna need for the tour in advance so you need 400 sets of drumsticks, you're taking 400 sets of drumsticks to begin with. And you have to return with 400 sets of drumsticks at the end. Otherwise, you're going to need to do the paperwork all over again. Yay! And that's additional costs that small bands can't do. An artist, like... It just means don't buy anything white on tour. Yay! Next point, let's cover visas. It's looking like that the first 180 days after Brexit happens, any UK citizen can get a 90 day visa to Europe without any hassle. No extra paperwork, it's just there. So with those first 180 days, you've got a 90 day limit on travel. This only happens though, if UK government allows the same for Europeans so vice versa seems fair to me oh well that's what it is afterwards looks like you're getting visas the problem with this is no one knows whether they're going to be European visas or independent country visas such as you're going on tour from France to Germany to Poland are you going to need a visa for each country or do you get one for the whole of Europe? Who knows? And again, these are additional costs that bands and artists begin. Can't really afford. Now, we haven't quite got an idea how much these visas are going to cost. But the ATA, which covers 70 countries, is published per person a cost of a visa for these well talk things a costing of three hundred and twenty five pounds and ninety six pence plus a deposit which is usually about ten percent so you're looking at about three hundred and fifty quid yikes that's per person so you got four or five people in a band yeah yeah costs are hiked up so that's at least a couple of weeks money from touring there just gone now the other thing we're gonna have to cover is tax hate it, it's there, you gotta do it. Now, if you're a UK based band and you're selling merch on your website to Europe, then your customers are gonna be paying import tax. Not a cost that you have to pay, but a cost that your customers are gonna pay. If you're importing though, then you're gonna pay it. Now, when you're out on tour and you're selling merchandise such as t-shirts, CDs, you're gonna have to pay tax before you leave the country. Now we don't know whether or not this is going to be a European tax or independent country tax. Again, all speculation. Hopefully it's a European one, which means that you all get paid at the end. 
yay. Then also this means you've got to pay tax on the money you've earned while you're in Europe. Um, you know, that's what it's going to be. Now, one of the restrictions we're going to see is some of the equipment that we're carrying, such as rosewood guitar fretboards. May not actually be allowed. So, they might need special paperwork, or they may just not be allowed to travel. This is something that has been going on between Europe and the States anyway, so you just need to decide what you're going to take and if it's worth taking. I mean, if you need special paperwork, you need special paperwork. But luckily, a lot more modern guitars are not real rosewood, it's more to do with vintage stuff. So, if you bring that with the vintage guitar, you're going to be paying additional cost. Now, streaming and such, like that, YouTube and that are not going to change. UK government saying that no copyright laws are going to change from current times to what it's going to be outside of Europe. So, we're looking at the same copyright laws. Okay. So unfortunately we may still be subject to the European copyright laws and don't allow any creative in this at all. Yay! Which takes away from the October 2014 uh, thing on what hydrogen bubble is. Basically, basically satire. It allows you to do satire as long as it's funny. Now, staffing could be another cost. It could be like what it is going on tour in America, where you have to justify that staff is not taken away from anyone locally, such as session musicians. Now, this means that you're carrying a UK session musician with you to Europe. You have to justify that that job is not doable by someone already living in Europe. Yeah. This is all it is in America at the moment. So, yeah. I mean, see, you can justify it by saying they already know the songs and they've been working with you for a while. It, it's still, you know, subject to change. And we again, this is all just speculation. But this is what it could be. Now, Travel might be interesting due to driver's license and sin and such. So, hopefully, it will work on the international driver's license law. So, we'll have to just wait and see about that. And again, it's all speculation. We don't know. This is just speculation. So, if you have any ideas about what you think could happen with Europe, leave them in the comments below. And this is the part I really hate, which is like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. See ya!